show you three ways of sharing documents and sharing your screen in Zoom. So first of all, I'm going to open a Zoom meeting. You'll see how easy that is. So I'm going to start to host a meeting with video on. Okay, joining the meeting. Hello. And now, you can now see just me on the screen, but now I can share my screen. You saw, remember, the other window which had, which had my um, Google Doc open. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to click Share. And I'm going to say, I want to share that, uh, that, go that Google uh, Chrome um, uh, application. So I click on that. And now you can see my Google Chrome application. So what I'm going to do is just click over to this tab here, which has my Google Doc. Okay. So, all right. So, um, so people. Right. So I'm going to share my screen during the meeting, so people uh, can see my screen. Even as I type, you're you're able to see this in. Um, in the Zoom meeting. Now I could stop, I can pause the share or I can resume it. So I can pause it just in case I want to go, oh wait, I need to check something. Then then I can uh, resume the share or I could stop the share altogether. So that's the first way. Let me go back and share my screen now to show you the, the three ways. So that's the first way is I'm just going to share my screen. Here it is on my screen. I'm going to show you during our call, this is what I'm looking at. Way number two is, hey, I've got a Google Doc here. Okay, so I've gone into Google Docs and I can create a share over here. I go share and this is emailing it to somebody else. Okay, and I get to send that email. Share this with Hannah. And I'll say, hi, Hannah, I'm sharing this um, document with you to demonstrate how um, document sharing works. <laughs> okay, and I can notify her as well. And then I click send. A whole lot of advanced options that you could do here on a Google Doc. Uh, maybe just let them read it and not make changes to it. I can I can actually just click on the link and then email her at email people the link and I just click send so I'm not going to do that now okay I could add do that for more than one person so that's the second way is to share the Google document now the advantage of doing it this way is is that when you do it as a share of a Google document after the zoom call is over everybody still has access to to the document and can still edit it and maybe even edit it together, which is pretty amazing. And so that's the second way of sharing documents and sharing your screen in Zoom. And the third way, not, not known so well, is to annotate. What does that mean? So here I am on the Zoom call. Let me stop the share. And now let me click on share again, but this time I'm gonna click on whiteboard. Okay, so I'm gonna click whiteboard here share and now this one I've only just discovered this this is great is that this is a whiteboard for everybody to see so I can go start writing on that and so I don't need to do a document so I'm going to click here and I'm going to start typing how to share your screen in um, uh, using zoom okay I'm going to I can expand that out. I can change the color. I'm going to make it a different color there. And I can then look, there's a whole lot more that you could do with all of this. You can do all kinds of drawings. Don't get me to do drawings, but, <laughs> and then, and then I've got, uh, yeah, option, option one, option two, option three, we can use format. And you know, what's great is that other participants can also annotate uh, the whiteboard and you can save this 
at the end. You can share it with people. You can email it to them. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool, all right? I haven't used this yet. This is the first time that I've seen this, but I really, really like this idea because it allows a few people to brainstorm together in a Zoom meeting. So I'm going to stop that share and I'm going to start, just go back again, just to review what we've seen here. Go back here. And I'm going to say I'm sharing this document. Share your screen just during the meeting. And of course, if you do a recording, then that includes the sh what you share in the recording board annotation. So those are three cool ways of sharing uh, so that so that you're both so that both of you or all of you who are in the meeting are all on the same page. So I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to end my uh, Zoom meeting, end the meeting for all, or I could just leave it myself, but I'm going to end it for all. I was the only one in it. And then I'm going to end this video.